Social issues and household problems have become the order of the day. And one of the main reasons and causes for why there may be a bit of turbulence and sometimes lots of turbulence in our homes is because we have failed to recognize and realize our roles in our homes. For this we transport to the life of Sayyiduna Yusuf alayhi salam. Allah wa ta'ala explained the dream of Yusuf alayhi salam that he had seen the sun, the moon and the 11 stars prostrating before him. Some years later that dream was finally realized where the blessed father of Sayyiduna Yusuf alayhi salam was actually being portrayed as the sun, his mother being portrayed as the moon and his 11 brothers being portrayed as the 11 stars. Now when we look at each of these roles as a father, mother and child and compare it to the likes of the sun, the moon and the stars respectively, we are able to understand our roles even better. What is the role of a sun? The sun comes up during the day and it shows in its radiance and brilliance each morning when we wake up. It is something that brings warmth to the earth. It is something that assists greatly in the process of photosynthesis, the growing of crops and vegetation. Now let us compare it to the role of a father. When a father shows that radiance in the home, shows that warmth in the home, when the children know that I can go to my father to receive that warmth, then a father is fulfilling his responsibility in the home. The father being one of the sole providers or the sole provider perhaps in some homes that has been tasked to the father as mentioned in other places in the Quran that the responsibility of clothing and feeding the inhabitants of a home falls on the shoulders of the father so just like how the son may be responsible or has been given the responsibility of growing that vegetation and being a source of sustenance a, pro a provision of sustenance that is the role of a father as well Secondly, the moon, the moon being compared to the mother in the darkness of the night. When we see that moon shining brightly in the sky, that full moon, then that is something that brings peace and tranquility to the heart. When we look at a full moon being, uh, uh, when we look at a full moon shining, then that is something that calms us immediately. And that is the role of a mother to calm the home and to calm the people that are living in the home. A moon goes through a 28-day cycle. Sometimes the moon is waning, sometimes it's waxing. Sometimes it's a full moon, sometimes it's a crescent. Sometimes the moon isn't even there at all. Likewise, a lady also goes through a monthly cycle. Sometimes she is there in her brilliance and her awe. Other times she may not be fully there. As a husband, as a father and as the children in the home, we need to understand the cycle very well and appreciate the beauty of the cycle as well. Lastly, the children. The children are the stars of the household just as the stars light up the sky and are the brilliance of the sky in the night as well. Now I ask you a question. Do you see the beauty of the stars by looking at just one star? No. The beauty is when the sky is filled with stars like that when children are united and together and they are on the same page obviously in most aspects it's not going to happen every day but that's when you see the real beauty of the home let us look at the home like the sky and when the sky gives each of the objects of the sky its due right the sun the moon and the stars you have a beautiful sky likewise when the home has every person acting according to his or her responsibility, you have a beautiful home saved from a lot of turbulence. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our homes from any type of destruction, whether it be physical, whether it be emotional, whether it be spiritual. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen.